Welcome back to Let's Play Control. I'm Burning Dog Face, and last time we put Arisha's old ranger squad to rest. This time, things aren't getting much cheerier as we have to go back and take on our old friend, the Clog. The only entity more unpleasant than wall meat, which is, of course, wall shit. So, yes, this is where I heard the voice. Do I keep going from here instead of jumping into the wall? I'm not sure it makes a difference. This will probably get me into the big room faster. I still think that looks like plant life. Ah, oh, boy. To not go with shoddy snipers, that would be silly of me. I really like the way that the bullets from spin are basically just little blue dots. Like it's shooting energy instead of bullets. Uh, I guess it'll be that corner of the room? Can't even see that corner of the room. Unless it's up. I can never tell if it's up or down. Hello? It sounded right next to me. That man is no longer alive. Ah, no. Damn it! These guys have a serious dearth of dots. When they die! Oh, you're not gonna like this at all. Called it! Oh, is that what I'm looking for? No, it's not. It's in that corner, beneath me. Although that might get me there. I can't actually go in, it doesn't matter. Okay, I'm an idiot. Ah! Why didn't it work the first time? Oh god. I really shouldn't do that. Hey, look. Cool. That right there, maybe? Yeah, that could be it. Yeah, this is the pump station. Hello again, Mr. Clog. You've really let us go. I really hate you. You are really unpleasant. I don't like the impression I get that the glowy bits are eyes. Water cooler procedures. Simulacrum. AI 53-KE. Acquisition date September 3rd, 2001. Hmm. Uh, containment location, Panopticon, floor 5, unit 11. Procedure, no unique procedure is required. If the item's form is different than any previously reported, then make a note describing the new form. Description altered effect. The object's true shape and appearance are unknown. It has been normed to take the form of the following objects. Ring of keys. Lunchbox. Wrench. Microscope. Stapler. Glasses. 
Mail Tube, Spoon. The item is able to adopt the physical form of items in its immediate vicinity. The item is capable of limited physical movement, repositioning itself whenever it changes form. This only occurs when it is unobserved, physically and digitally. Because of this, the transition between shapes has never been observed. Reciting formula I.14 or I.32 causes the item to reveal itself by shuddering. The item was initially discovered within the bureau itself. Whether an agent brought it outside, intentionally or otherwise, or inside, intentionally or otherwise, or it resided here prior to the bureau's arrival to the oldest house is unknown. Simulacrum. That's a good uh, name for it. Oh, right. Big red light. Duh. Well, this isn't going to be it, but... Okay, just thought I would check. Huh. Okay, is there a giant flamethrower pointing at it? Because that would- oh, I see. I don't think I even need magic for that. Yep, confirmed. I didn't know I could do that. Huh, that one doesn't have the grippy arms. Oh. What's that one? No. Man alive! Mortal words cannot express. But there's nothing in this room. This, but I don't need this. Oh, I didn't even see that uh, thing there. And then what did it activate? Oh, I need a third one, okay. I did forget that both doors close if I do that. But now it don't matter. I wonder if that thing is a file. Uh. Gross. Nuts to that. I sincerely hope we never meet again. interesting one. How oddly specific. I mean, I'm not going to equip it, but... I'm curious uh, how it's even meant to be.
Excellent. Just need to figure out where the... Yeah. Oh, I had a thought about that. Uh, the door I thought I was trying to get to in the Panopticon was suddenly locked. And I found myself wondering, well, it's a traffic light. If I wait there long enough, will the red light turn green? Oh, God. He's your problem now. All right, fine. Thanks, floaty dude. You could have taken him if your health wasn't draining. No, I got nothing clever to say. I just wanted to do that. You know, because I could. suit kind of reminds me of the astral plane for some reason. Seize an additional enemy? Hmm. How often am I going to have two really damaged guys standing right next to each other? Hmm. I don't think I've even used Shield Barrage against anybody. Oh, no, no, that's, it's, uh... Oh, no, no, I was thinking of Shield Rush. Yes, yes, it's the next one. My bad. Oof. Okay. Then we are going to... That's right, we're going to the Panopticon. Upgrade the C's ability to take control of his clusters, making them heal you and your allies instead. Oh boy, I didn't even think of that. Hey, I'm glad I just upgraded the C's ability. Actually, I should be able to check the, uh, the upgrade menu right on the other side of this loading screen, now that I think about it. Oops. What? No oh, there I am. Uh... Huh. I guess it must be that one? Oh. Well, hello there. You come here off- Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Sorry, sorry. I should know better than to look at that one. Huh. And the door is wide open this time. This looks like the place! What did that say? Oh. <laughs> Why? 
watch your step. That must be one of the missing altar items. You're... I want to know. Uh... Can't be that simple. What is this thing's deal? It, it, it wants me to play red light, green light. Yep, yep, I'm not moving and it's not working. You fucker! I think it's too far away to affect me right now. Because there was a big wall in front of it. Oh, like that one. Oh, there it is! needed to stop moving in a hurry. Huh, that's interesting. Where I come from, the green light's always on the bottom. And the red light's always on the top. Let's escape all that I didn't worry about. Missed. Oh, there it is. I didn't miss after all. Red light containment, uh, traffic light procedures. Red light, AI 49-KE, acquisition date, May 16th, 1999. Uh, containment location, Panopticon, floor 4, unit 10. The object's effect is subdued by exposure to sunlight. Yes, it would be. Interesting, because its, it's effect seems to travel through light. Uh, a traffic light with three distinct lights arranged vertically on each of its sides. From top to bottom, the lights shine red, yellow, and green. But they had it backwards in the real game. Huh. A popular children's game, CCBA-316, is believed to be integral in the manifestation of this item and its effect. If an entity approaches the item while its red light is activated, they will be instantly, instantaneously relocated a distance of redacted from the item. Note. Theories that the item is shifting people to a former timeline or parallel universe have been explored and dismissed. Background. The item was discovered after a streetlight at an intersection near the elementary school began shifting people away from itself after sunset. A local panic brought the case to the attention of the Bureau. The item was contained and the gas leak was blamed for this confusion in the townspeople's perception. Oh, God. I mean, I get that they don't want to, you know, just tell the whole world that the supernatural is real. You've survived tougher, says my lozenge wrapper. But, um... They could have just explained the things to them. Show them that the paranatural exists and that you don't have to be afraid because the Bureau of Control is watching out for you. You know, make a propaganda thing out of it. But it's, you know, I thought that comment I read out last time was absolutely uh, hitting the nail on the head. That, uh, you know, they, they don't see civilians as people anymore. They just see everyone who isn't part of the Bureau as a variable that needs to be taken into account. What the hell is that? Oh, okay, it's a tree. I guess that room is just permanently like that. Th Thanks, TV! Hit me too. What is that about? Oh, the timer, shit.
know, I didn't mean to summon the item that was behind him. But all the same. All the same, uh, yeah. Kinda didn't like the way it looked like I just shoved that item right up that one ranger's ass. Dots. No! You've killed my man! guy always drops a mod. Oh, Jesus, I went to the... Oh! Yeah, that's the door I thought it was. And now it's closed again. Did I, did I drop down a level or up a... Le no, it was over there. Okay. Where the fuck am I? There I am. Okay, that pro looks like it felt badass. Let's reinforce steel. Uh, oh, I am in the bottom of the Panopticon now. Okay. In that case... Let's look at that. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we provide any assistance at this time, sir? Only if you can reboot the cell door protocols without manually accessing them. Sir, we are not capable of completing that task. Please assign us a different task. Why are you talking like that? You know what? Never mind. I'll take care of it. Are those guys robots? Is that what's going on here? They seem weird. I found all those missing altered items. All of them? Wow, you have a gift, ma'am. But those weren't all of the altered items missing from the Panopticon. The hiss must be making them restless. We've had several more containment breaches. How many of these things did he lose? What day is it? How many? Just a couple. Should be no problem for you. I really appreciate you. <laughs> really. Just super. The flamingo, the mannequin, and the rubber duck. Wait. Huh. I'll see you later. Lance. I thought I contained the rubber duck. I thought the rubber duck was already contained. It must have escaped after I saw it. Uh. Research protective studies. It's the only one that isn't here. All right, I'm gonna head back to the control point then. But first, I'm going to call it. To assist in mitigating a crisis. Would you like me to list them for you? No. What's your guy's deal? They are robots. It's gotta be what it is. Like, at first I thought it was, just, oh, these guys are like the, the super serious no fun types because, you know, they refuse to acknowledge the humor in the number 69. <laughs> or, you know, even acknowledge that Langston could find it funny. But are they straight up robots? No one else talks like that. You know, there's that one ranger in Executive Central that just talks about wanting to kill Dylan all the time. Alright, I'm uh, Burning Dog Face, and I will see you next time on Let's Play Control. When we get back out there and continue making the Bureau a slightly less insane place. Later. <laughs>